Hello guys, how you guys doing? It's Stephanie Stevens here from Pronoun TV and the Stephanie Stevens Show. So many of you ask me, why am I not in a relationship? And why am I not married? First of all, I'm part of the LGBT Two-Spirit Pronoun Community. And I'm not married because I'm just not interested in that. I've had many, many failed relationships. Not, I don't think because um, I'm difficult. I just think that the men that I have been with don't understand me. So today's show is about my failed relationships and why I think they failed. Um, first of all, I think mainly a lot of relationships when you're, when you're trying to have a relationship with an entertainer, whether it be gay, straight, whatever, is very, very difficult. And mainly if the person is successful or going through difficult times and these people, certain people aren't able to handle certain things, whether the woman is more successful or she's more or less... Um, She's more reliant on him. Um, it's it. There's a lot of different things that play into relationships. For me, I think that a relationship um, requires two people that love each other. And I think in most of my relationships, I was in love with the person. And the person was in love with me. They just didn't know what to do with me. Sometimes entertainers can be very difficult. Not that I was difficult with him in our relationship. But I think that sometimes people require more of your attention than what you think. And mainly somebody that loves you and cares about you. Now, I think that it takes a lot of work. For a relationship, it doesn't matter if it's uh, heterosexual or whatever the pronoun is. Relationships are difficult all together because sometimes you come from different backgrounds. In my case, a lot of the boys that I was with were of of a different race, and they had different backgrounds. And of course, me coming from me coming from the south. And having a Christian background, we all know how that goes. But I think that, honestly, I love the men that I was involved with. I did. I love them. I just think that sometimes you just know when your career is something that you need to put more energy and effort into other than a relationship. And sometimes you have to make sure that you you don't sacrifice that person's integrity or feelings just because of you feel like you, or they feel that you're being selfish. So I think that, you know, I've had a hard time dealing with men who I knew loved me but didn't know what to do with me. I mean, I'm not talking about sexually. I know some of y'all thought that. But no, sexually, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about mentally. And, so, you know, it's very difficult when a woman wants to go in a certain direction. And a woman is powerful. And she's making money. She's making moves. She's doing things that he isn't used to or isn't prepared to deal with. Um... And a lot of times, relationships can be very difficult because one partner is more successful than the other one, or they both are successful, but they're not on the same page because they're never home together to understand each other. And when they do get together, and like in my case, traveling around the world, trying to make my way, trying to understand where all of this was going, and a lot of the times when you're starting your career, it's very, very difficult. And there's so much ups and downs that you go through that the other person don't quite understand. 
they think, okay, well, I'm here, you know, let's make it work, you know, you don't have to worry about them. It's not that. It's something that's in entertainers and in people that have a drive to succeed that sometimes their partners might not understand or might understand and just are either jealous because a lot of times men are very jealous of women who make a lot of money or who who are famous and make moves that's just the way it is because they're not used to women making money and taking care of themselves they're used to women being at home with the children and doing all the housework and all these kinds of cooking and all these kinds of things and i think being part of the lgbyt two-spirit pronoun community we are so used to hookups that it takes us a long time to understand the value of a real relationship. And once we get into them, we're, we don't really understand it. We know that there is something there between the two of us, but we're just so used to hookups that you don't sort of pursue it until you fall too heavily and um, in love or infatuated or whatever the situation may be. And in my case, I found that a lot of the men that I loved, loved me. They just didn't know what to do with me. And I think that it's, that has, that, that's the, with a lot of celebrities and a lot of people that are famous or a lot of people that are trying to do something in the world um, and then still have a family, relationships, a job, a successful career. These things are very difficult to balance and deal with. And the fact that you know that you love this person, but this person doesn't know what to do with you. You connect in all ways except for that energy of success, I would say, that, that energy of success. And I think that sometimes even when a person is rich, a woman doesn't necessarily really want to um, rely on them. They want to make their own money. And I want to make my own money. I want to make my own way. I've always been like that. And I think that that was very difficult for a lot of my um, relationship, past failed relationships, is because most men, I think they're afraid if they say something or they say how they feel, you're going to run off. But you know what? I I believe in strong relationships, whether they're heterosexual or part of the um, two-spirit pronoun community, which is all of us in a sense. Um, I, I think that my failed relationships were because most men didn't understand me. I think that that is it. Um, I hope that answered some of your questions out there. Um, but I do think that my future is bright and I think that I will find love again. I'm just not looking right now because my career is very important to me. My business is very important to me. My family, what's left of my family is very important to me. And the mere fact that I really want to make a difference. And I think that that comes first. And I think that, you know, it's going to be very hard for a man to come into my life and uproot me from those kinds, the, the way I feel. I think it's going to be very difficult for a man to come in to my life and uproot me from, you know, the direction I want to go in and, 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 and my career. I think, though, um, it's possible. You never know. <laughs> you never know. You guys are something else. You guys have got me confessing my soul. That's something I usually don't do. I've been crying most of my life, and now God has blessed me with the with a with a clear understanding and a clear mind. Um, you guys now have me confessing my soul. Um, but I do believe that the pronoun, two-spirit pronoun community can have positive relationships, loving relationships. It's just that a lot of mine have failed because of this or that. And, and, and a lot of the um, um, pronoun um, community 
in a sense, are, you know, are out of relationships because they don't have what heterosexual people have. They're starting to get a sense of it now with equality of marriage and adopting children. They're understanding these responsibilities, something that gay men and women didn't have a lot of before. Um, no, I don't plan on having any children. I'm sorry. And I don't, I don't plan on adopting any children. Um, that's just not in the cards for me. And I think that my life is making a difference. And, um, and it's not that I think that I'm sacrificing my life for making a difference. Um, I, I just believe that that's my calling. And if a man happens to come along and sweep me up, woo, here we go. <laughs> but I think at the age now, I have a very clear understanding of what I like. So, and I think men have a hard time dealing with, um, you know, you, they try, you know, I mean, relationships are, are very, very tough. Like I said at the beginning, they're very, very tough. But I do believe that when two people, there's a connection between two people, sometimes there's just no denying that relationship between the two of them and I think when they when two people connect and the energy is like ooh, it's either lust or bust <laughs> but no I think that I, I think that somewhere down the line I will find a positive relationship in the sense of I'll find somebody that understands me and um not necessarily have to question me. I want to be able to walk alongside my partner without him second guessing what I'm thinking. And that is something that a lot of couples need to do. Mainly when you're walking with the person that you love and one has his head down and the other one's looking straight forward. It says a lot about a lot of things. So I know a lot of you don't notice that, but I do. I see a lot of couples, mainly women, holding their head down and men looking straight forward, marching right next to her. But there's that, hmm, just watch some of your videos. Watch some of your videos and you'll see what I'm saying. So I think that a healthy relationship between two people is something that is um, very energetic, magical, and can be done. I don't think that I'm looking for that right now, but you never know down the road. Mm, oh, Stephanie might hook up with somebody. So I hope that answered your questions um, on failed relationships. A lot of my failed relationships were because men just don't understand me. <laughs> but there is hope. There is hope. So, you guys have a blessed week. And thank you for joining me here on Pronoun TV. And the Stephanie Stevens, you had me confessing my soul of a failed relationship. And I've had several. Trust me. Russian. Irish. Black. French. Quebecois. And... <laughs> And a couple of DLs. <laughs> and that is for um, stories to come on the show. Okay, so you guys have a blessed week. I hope that this helped you. And um, you learned a little bit more about me. So, have a blessed week, everybody. And thank you for joining me here on Pronoun TV. Stay strong, stay positive, and remember... Hmm... You never know what the future holds. You just might find the right one. Hmm, oh, Stephanie is looking. Have a good day, y'all. Well, not right now, I'm not looking. But later on. <laughs>